nerd dice. Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is episode number 34 in our series, Create a Ruby Gem, Nerd Dice. To release or not to release? That is the question that we'll be answering in this episode. So you can see here in our issues, so if you click on issues, click on milestones, are what we had as milestone 0.3.x had uh, about four issues in it. They're all done. But let's take a look at our commits to master since we bumped the gem version to 0 0.3.0. So we've got the addition of GitHub Actions. We've got adding Rubocop to the CI build, adding coveralls, adding a build badge to the readme, code climate, and our benchmark script. So while all of these are worthwhile things, they're, they're more infrastructure related than they are uh, actually features that the user would notice. These are all under the hood type of features that will contribute to the sustainability of our gem going forward. But if you're a consumer of nerd dice, you're not going to notice any difference in the last set of uh, commits and features we've added. So you can look in reverse dependencies. It doesn't appear that we have any, so it doesn't especially matter. We could, if we wanted to, release a version 0.3.0 and um, just go from there. I think I'm going to instead make not release this and make what we had as 0.4.0, kind of merge that into 0.3.0. So that's kind of what we're going to do here. We're going to do a little bit of tidying up, though, and then we'll we'll do a retrospective probably in our next episode. But we'll um, the other thing that we want to figure out is. This code, because it doesn't have any user-facing changes, I think would work fine on our 0 0.2 stable branch. So I think I'm going to backport the changes that we have there onto 0 0.2 stable. We'll update the change log. We also have some, if we go to RuboCop, we've got some new cops that we want to evaluate and determine whether we want to include those. We'll take care of that in this episode. So uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll, we'll take a look at our change log because we haven't added to it at all. The, the date on this is not correct, so we will uh, correct that. It was 0128 if you're thinking in UTC. So we'll add that and we'll add all these things to the, the master part of this change log and then we'll backport the kind of cherry pick this set of commits into our 0 0.2 stable uh, branch. So uh, we'll go through and I'll pause while I kind of go through the, the different commits that we've got and make them each a bullet point in the readme. And then um, I'll also um, note that we bumped RuboCop. So pause and do that. So I think I've got everything covered. We've got the GitHub action, add RuboCop to CI build, coveralls, Build badge, code climate maintainability, and benchmark script. So I think we can save our change log. The one other thing that I'm going to do that isn't really going to affect anything, but if we're going to backport it to version two, I want to change this. So this 
this method name run baseline I just don't like so I noticed that when I was doing post-production for the benchmark videos is that that method name is really not a, a good method name so I'm going to alter it we're gonna do a control H here and we'll make this a bang method as well so check against check against baseline try running that we'll see no offenses detected benchmark script still works so we'll add that again because it's just the renaming of a of a method I'll put it in the commit message but it doesn't need to go in our change log or anything like that the other thing that we need to do so you can see here the when we run RuboCop it will tell us that new cops have been uh, created since our that are not in our rubocop.yaml file and so we want to go take a look at these so we'll start by taking these we'll control shift C open our rubocop.yaml and paste them in. We'll rerun RuboCop and see if we have any offenses. We do not. And then we'll take a look at what is actually in here and make sure that we want it. So the one thing that I am absolutely not going to enable is naming slash inclusive language. We do not need RuboCop to be secret police. You are out of your element and you will not do that. Again, we don't have any violations here, but it's just the principle of the thing. I've got a video called Burn the Contributor Covenant with Fire. So, I mean, if, you, if you're adopting that, I can see why you'd want this in your RuboCop, but um, I'm going to stand up to the machine and tell the secret police no. You now fail and have been reported for disabling inclusive language. Nope, still no offenses. So I think we can we can run with that uh, most of these. So if you want to check up on any of the individual ones here, you can go over to the RuboCop documentation, docs.rubocop.org, RuboCop, and you can uh, the kind of the the basic. Item. So in that issue of uh, naming slash inclusive language, you can see that the it's about the the typical um, progressive gulag um, crusade against language, and we'll just say no thank you to that so we will uh, the other thing I'm gonna do I'm just gonna pause and uh, rearrange these so that they are um, kind of in in order so looking what I had there already I'm not gonna go and re-alphabetize these because they weren't alphabetical to begin with so I just added a block say added 2021 814 and then save it Added the same spacing as the other stuff. So I think we've got if I spell it right. I think I, we've got what we want here. So we'll
commit what we've got. So we've got our message. We'll pause while we sign it. We're going to push straight to master here. So our CI suite passed as we'd expect it to. We didn't really make any material changes. Our change log now has the updates we had on it. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at our commits and cherry pick the range of commits that we have from here until here into version um, 0 0.2. check out on our git log so generate checksums for 0 0.2.0 we've got there and in our commit history we've got that commit there we're going to ignore this commit and then get everything after that so git cherry pick latest commit conflict Just see if we can go commit by commit then. So you get the picture. I'll pause and do this. So I'm done doing my cherry picks. I suspect that I just got the command syntax wrong, and that was what was causing it. But so the only differences we have. in the 
gemfile.lock and the version which we want both of those to be as they are. Make sure that our gem is um, buildable on this branch. So we'll do a seems to have worked. Uh, cherry pick is currently in progress. everything. Head. Let's see if we can do that. make sure that our version is what we want it to be here. Still 0 0.2.0. A change log is what we want it to be. I think we're where we want to be now, so we will run a git push. Check our actions. So that succeeded. We'll check master back out. And I think we are good to go. The other thing I'm going to do is just take these, uh, everything that's associated with um, the 0 
milestone we want to have associated with 0 0.3 now, or at least the, the first two. So got two issues here. to the 0 0.3 milestone, add that to 0 0.3, and then what do we have that doesn't have a milestone? So convenience methods and association of an image. Convenience methods I think will be a distinct 0 0.4 feature. And then our remaining items. So I think we'll leave that currently undone. We'll keep a uh, an attribute in our in our object that stores the location of the image. But we will I, I don't think actually do anything with it other than store it. So I think we'll stop there. We look at our project and I think we're um, ready for our retro, which we'll do in our next episode. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.